You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and away we go. But Robert isn't my uncle. Semantics. Hello, my schmutterling. That's German for butterfly. Hello. Mm, I'm not a fan of the German when you're doing it. You're not a fan of the butterfly? No, you do in German. Schmetterling. 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 You sound like Sean Connery trying to do uh, German. Yes, trying to do German. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mike, what, are, what, what have you got for us this week in your little buzz? In my little buzz? Yeah, your little buzz area. I've got an interesting story about crabs. Nice. Mm. On screen now, you can see our contact info. Yep, it's at the Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. The TV for our website, and on YouTube or podcasts, just look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names go whizzing along the bottom of the screen, we pop over to the beautiful Lee and the showbiz news. You just had a body cough. Yeah, I just had a what? Bottom cough. Bottom cough? Body cough. It's an aroma. There's an aroma? Yeah. Well, I've sure? it, dealt it. So, <laughs> just getting a bit personal there, weren't we? We were just getting down and yeah. personal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kanye West. Are you a fan of Kanye West? Uh, no. It's I, okay not, to say no. I'm not, I'm not a fan of his, but I don't want him to be in any significant amount of pain. Well, I didn't say, do you want him dead? I just said, are you no, a fan of Kanye dead. West? I said significant amount of pain. He's in that grey space if I don't. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Anyway. He has just hit number one in the album charts with his latest album. Ooh. I know. Um, it's called Donda. Um, <laughs> of what? Donda. Isn't that the thing that Head and Shoulders gets rid of? No, that's Dandruff. Oh, okay. Okay. So, but he's had mm. some, some sort of banter with Peppa Pig, <laughs> which you wouldn't normally think a would be... having banter with a cartoon. Yeah, well, he's not reciprocated the banter. So we've got so a picture of we've got, Peppa Pig, <laughs> is what you're telling me. Peppa Pig and Kanye West on the screen now. Uh -huh. So apparently, Peppa Pig has released her album at the same time as, as Kanye West. Okay. Um, now, the press in certain areas have reviewed Peppa Pig's album higher mm. than Kanye West's Ooh. album. So um, what they kind of like is, so his is, is a 20, 27 tracks. Album, hers is like 12 songs, something like that. You only need 12. Yeah, so so one reviewer gave his album six mm. out of ten. Okay. Peppa Pig's six and a half out of ten. Better. Okay. And Peppa Pig actually sort of like responded to that. So she put a tweet up. We've got a picture of the tweet mm -hmm. of that, that Peppa Pig put on social media saying, Peppa Pig... Don't need to host listening parties in Mercedes-Benz Stadium to get that 0.5. Bit of shade from Peppa Pig there on, on the Kanye. Did Kanye re reply back going, bacon sandwich, just saying? <laughs> he, he didn't reply anything. Oh. Yeah, at all. Um, I, I love the fact that Peppa Pig is dissing <laughs> Kanye West. Kanye West. Like saying, I didn't need to pay for a stadium full of people mm. to big up my album. 0.5, baby. Um... <laughs> Not, yeah, a, but like, like, not a huge amount. <laughs> no. But still, it's it, also the, the album's significantly small if she's only got 12 tracks on there. Yeah, but it's whether it's quality. If you've got 24 tracks on an album, it's probably not quality stuff all the way and through. And it's whether they're all twenty, they're all full-length songs or if they're like the like interlude bits. <laughs> what, what, they're going, and this song means a lot to me because oh. listen to it. Kim! Kim! We've run out of pork scratchings. That would be apt because of Peppa Pig. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't see <laughs> Kanye West eating pork scratches. Can you not? No. Lentil chips. Lentil chips. Lentil chips. Lentil chips. Air fried mung beans, that kind of stuff. Air fried mung beans. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. We hang around with vegetarians. I would imagine he probably is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, she was getting at him because he'd organised these huge kind of like publicity mm -hmm. launches to kind of get people to buy his album over in America. Which, and they kind of like sneak previews of his of his album um his album's up here we've got a picture of his him and with his album and the album cover um which some people have unkindly perhaps said that you know a child painted it it um, looks like a picture of someone being inserted 
So the big shiny gold thing is quite clearly a gold dildo, and the little purple round thing is quite clearly an anus. Well, that clearly states where your With mind is at. Watching. To me, it looks like the sun or a planet. Uranus, Saturn? Literally Uranus, yeah. Literally Saturn, Uranus. Yeah. Anyway, it's out now. Should you choose to stream it or, you know, whatever, um, the kids stream do. Stream or whatever. Or, or download it or buy a physical copy. It's out there now. I'd probably go for the Peppa Pig album, even though Peppa Pig is annoying. But there you go. You're not going to buy it? Neither. 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 Neither, neither. Neither, 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 nor. Neither, neither. What about a Peppa Pig Kanye mashup? No, that I'd pay for. That, that was something I would, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so um, you could put spinning rims on a jet ski or something. I don't know. Spinning rims? Yeah, on a jet ski. What's a what's a rim? <laughs> on, I know what a, what rimming is, but what's no, a no, rim a on a jet rim. ski? So you know, you know when you see those cars with the the wheels that keep spinning. Oh, the goldy fashion. Yeah, row. that's a spinning rim. Oh, okay. Putting that on a jet ski would be pointless. No. Yeah. So it's the idea of just yes. throwing money you away. You could put it on her like scooter. No, 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 it's the idea of just throwing money away. Oh, okay. Because you're putting spinning rims on a A hog jetsky. roast. And Peppa Pig <sighs> is the one that he's roasting. Anyway, let's move on to some more, Sarah. It's just on a spit. Huh? On a spit. A spit? Yeah. Spit roast. That's what they're called. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not, Mike. They're called hog roasts. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you see Dawn? Did yes. you see the cogs turning? The cogs turning. <laughs> Kanye West has not spit roasted pig, pig, pig. Can we just make that clear? He may want to hog roast her, but he hasn't spit roasted. That sounds her. just as bad. I know that hog roast isn't a sexual thing, but is hog just... roast a sexual thing as well? <laughs> but the way you just said it makes it sound like it is. He may want a hog roaster, but that's all. After he spit roasted her, <laughs> no spit roasting. <laughs> Get some on. juices just on. Move Come on, on let's on. just move on. Let's just move on. Right, okay. So celebrities, mm -hmm. there's one thing that they've taught us is that money doesn't always bring taste or class. No, it never brings taste or class. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Name one time. I can't. Um, I'm sure there are, but I can't right off the top of my head. Uh, Kylie Wine. That's tasteful. It tastes awful. It's nice. I had some Prosecco the other week. You don't drink, though, so... It, I know, but it was nice. So your frame of reference <laughs> is toilet Once water. Once I filled it up with lemonade and ice cubes, it was delicious. <laughs> In a big slurp. Um, <laughs> Back to that spit roast again, aren't we? We are, yeah. Big that's big not, let's move away. So, celebrities, they, they, they make loads of money. They buy houses. Mm -hmm. They adapt them to their individual niche tastes. Okay. And, and, and kind of style preferences. Then when they try and sell them... Mm -hmm. They quite often have trouble because the ordinary person, well, Personal the ordinary taste. millionaire, yeah. doesn't particularly want the weirdness that quite a lot of celebrities have installed in their houses. So we've got some celebrities here who have tried to put their houses up for sale, mm. but had to drop the pricing significantly Ooh. because of the weirdness that, they, that, that they've had in them. So first up, mm. we have... Nick Cage. Nicholas Cage, sure. Nick, well, it depends how, how friendly are you, are you are. Are you on Nick terms with him? I would call him Nick Cage. Okay. Yeah. Everyday picture of Nick Cage mm. there, yeah? yeah? So he had um, a massive mansion mm. that was 12,000 square foot in mm. Bel Air, but it was themed... Um, with dragon statues everywhere, everywhere you went. Dragon statues, samurai armor, um, mass. Uh, the biggest geode. What's a geode, Mike? That's where you get. Um, it's a crystalline rock formation. Oh. So you open up a rock, and inside it, a crystal's formed. Oh, okay. So we've got a massive one of them. Okay, they're quite pretty. Put it in the middle. So he put his. He put it up originally for two point four million. Okay. Ended up having to sell it for three point five million. That's a big drop, isn't it? So he, he put it up for how much originally? Wanted ten point four million. Okay. Ended up having to sell it for three point five million. Okay. Thought you said it was two point four million to start with. Did I? I didn't. No, I said okay. ten point. Just sounded yeah. like it. Yeah. Um. Now th <laughs> this one I love. So Barbara Streisand, right? Yeah. She has so much shiz. So much stuff that she's accumulated over the years that she has turned the basement of her mansion mm -hmm. into a Victorian shopping mall. Okay. With shops. 
Right. So she has, so we've got a picture here. She has a, an antique doll shop that people, right. you just go and visit. Um, she said, I've got so much stuff. Instead of storing it, I've turned a street in, into shops and I display all my stuff. This is her in her doll shop. Right. Um, holding one of her. Uh, now, shop, you don't buy things. Oh. She doesn't allow you to buy them. You just look at them. Okay. And um, so she invites guests over, and if she likes them, then she lets them into the, lets them into the secret basement. I don't know if they ever come out. But that's quite... I Would find you that... like to see my dolly? Clothes. See how pervy I've, I've made that one? Oh, yeah. Do she has clothes, my basement shoes. And look at my dolly. Come All and look at my shoe. Things. Nah. No. But that's the life of the rich and famous. I'm not saying that she's got a sex dungeon down there, but... Who knows? Perhaps that'll be next for showbiz news. Sex dungeons of the rich and famous. Mm. That's the end of this week's showbiz news. Oh, thank you, Lee. It's nice to see that you're aptly dressed for Sex Dungeons of the Rips and Famous. You're welcome, Mike. I'm going for the pleather look today. Stick around, because next it's Mike in the Buzz. <laughs> you're watching Chewing the Coat with Lee and Mike. Now let's go over to Mike for him to tickle our funny bones while he brings us the buzz. <laughs> Wasn't that good in the first place, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, <play>. bird. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's almost bitchy. <laughs> I'm not touching anybody's bone. It's not what I've seen written on the toilet doors. No, I wrote that. That's different. Well, okay. Yeah. But I have had a, a bit of a scoop around the internet. Nice. Yes. Two scoops. Two scoops. Two scoops. Two scoops. Uh, not, not soups. Scoops. 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 Like ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I found a couple of stories. The first one, mm -hmm. right, made me feel all empowered and oh, strong. Like a bitch. You scared yourself there, didn't I you? I did. <laughs> you weren't sure that was coming I out wasn't your sure. You know that conversation that we had, you know when you say something and then you reply back and you think you shouldn't really say that? You just I let just him out. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what? So have you ever felt so pa so sorry, enraged by something, you take direct action? Never. Never. I prefer to let it simmer and boil inside of me and fester and then sort of like punch the, a granny in the street just because <laughs> I've, I've not gone down the right route. Okay, never just write it to your MP. That's a lot of work, Mike. Text them, tweet them. No. no. I might have an imaginary conversation in my car <laughs> with that person. <laughs> you do that a lot, though, don't yeah. you? You practice that conversations. Makes, yeah, it makes you feel better. Yeah. Um, well, this story is about um, more than 100 students at an Iowa primary school. Okay. Okay. Who have walked out after their teacher has been basically put on administration leave. So suspended. Right. For coming out as bisexual. Okay. So in the in the um, seventh grade literacy teacher, mm. um, Lucas Croftman, um, was asked to, to leave while they investigated what happened after as a project called What Describes Me, he put an LGBTQI flag up. Right. And said he was bisexual. Okay. Um, so the Iowa um, governing body for the school said, you can't do that at our school. Get out while we investigate it. And so 100 of these Year 7 kids, kids have turned around and said, that's not fair, he's just teaching us mm. and making us feel safe about who we are. And so all walked out. Good for them. Um, people that have been sort of like, taught by him in the past have also walked out of their classes. And Some of the other teachers have stood up for them as well and walked out and said that they, the state board need to allow people to be openly gay. And it's, it's, like, it's not as if, you know, he walked into the school with a badge on saying, hello, I'm a bisexual. It was part of a, it was hard, it was part of mm -hmm. a piece of work. Yeah. And, you know, we, you encourage children to be honest. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it's ridiculous. And I'm hoping that the governors or whatever have kind of like said, it doesn't, the kids don't care. No, the kids are actually thankful for him doing that because yeah. it made them feel more comfortable about being themselves. Yeah, it's, you know... Yeah, which I, I thought would have been a, the idea of a, a great teacher. You need to look in their own mirrors, don't they, Mike? Mm. This, look in their own mirrors, don't their they? Their own mirrors, hold the yeah. mirror up to themselves. Yeah. Now, you've been known to frequent a fun fair. I have, Mike. You don't go on any of the big wheelie rides. 
The big what? Worthy rights, like the waltz waltzes. Okay, it's okay, because I thought you said something else. What did you think I said? I thought you said the big willy rides. <laughs> Always first in the queue for those. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like rides that go upside down, mm -hmm. very, very high. Side to side too fast. Yeah. Yeah, round and round a lot. Yeah, I just like the nice ones. Yeah. The teacups. The teacups. Oh, no, I can make the teacups. And the waltzes. I like a waltzer. You like the waltzer? I do. Oh, now are you one of those people? Makes that, me feel giddy, Mike. Are you one of those people that like lean in to make it go faster, or do you sit there going, "No, I love it. It makes me feel alive. I like to it? spin round so fast. Oh, yeah, like a record. So, you, yeah, round, round. Yeah, wow, yeah, wow. yeah. Surprised you there, haven't I? You have, yeah. Uh... So on your next trip, yeah, if you're going at the coconut shy, you can still win a coconut. Okay. Okay, but you know you can get those win those little goldfish in a bag. Mm. Yeah, they have now been banned from oh, most fun God. fairs because they're found to have died within an hour or two of being won. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. Mm. It's very. <laughs> I don't mm. know what else to say. Mm. I know. Mm. It is. No, I've I, I've sad. had. It's very sad. It's really upsetting. That is. It's upsetting. That is. That's her from. Um, um, what accent were you going for? Because you went Newcastle, Northern Ireland. I was doing Ireland. Newcastle. I was doing her that was yeah, on, on Drag very, Race. Very, very But briefly. really, insincerely, when somebody got kicked off, she went, it's upsetting, that is. That was it. It's upsetting, that is. Um, it is upsetting. And I, I wonder where they get, where did they get them from? They're like... Well, the, a mummy goldfish and a daddy goldfish love each other very, very much. Patronise me, Mike. Well, you asked where they came from. I've had a number of... I'm moving on now. Uh, a number of fairground goldfish over the years. Some have lasted longer than others. I say fairground lovers, then. <laughs> I've had a number of fairground lovers. I've taken another girls. lover. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the waltzer man. <laughs> the coconut shy man. <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> the whack-a-mole man, that was my favourite. <laughs> the candy floss man, the hot dog man. Ooh, the burger van man. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you spell burger. <laughs> Some have died very quickly. The burger van man died Lovers. very quickly. <laughs> no, some of the goldfish we've had have died very quickly. Others have lasted a lot longer. We once at work, a, a long time ago, went to a fun fair mm -hmm. and won one, and it lasted about two years. All oh, right. Mm. Why did it die? I think it just died of boredom. Died of boredom. <laughs> just yeah. like, oh, fuck's sake, they're talking just about that East Enders again. Yeah. Yeah, but I do agree. I think it's I think it's unfair. It's a cruel. Mm. It is cruel. Mm. Yeah. I'd like to see them manning the the rides. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> goldfish manning the rides. Right. Okay. I Equal thought, opportunities. I thought manning the ride was something very different. But <laughs> moving on. Um, well, from from one creature of the sea to another. Okay, we're staying wet, as it were. Um, and this is quite a lovely story. I'll be the judge of that. You like this one. Okay. <laughs> um, this isn't from any newspaper or news outlet. It's just a, a message and a post that I saw, and I went, oh, that's amazing. Is it about you? It's not about me. No. Okay. No, it's better than that, marginally. Um, and this is from Man Behaving Dadly. Catch you okay. there. Yeah, yeah. Um, who basically took a picture, and it's some guys on Liverpool Street to South End Train had bought a crab from the fishmongers, and they're taking it back to the sea to live its best life. The only problem with this is that they keep having to take it to the toilet every few minutes to get it wet, as in keep it moist with water. So they've named them Hope on their behalf. Will this tale have a happy ending? Can you even keep a crab alive with sporadic sprinklings of water? Let's hope so. So it's literally people bought a live crab from a fishmonger's and went, I'm going to take you back to sea. Okay. And we're travelling from central London to South NLC on train to release the crab. Oh, that's nice. Which I thought was quite lovely. I like crab meat. It's tasty. <laughs> but little crab going out to live its life. They're not cute. Well, no, they're not cute, but these people are freeing a crab. It's been caught, yeah, dragged into London. It's their lost cold because they're put on ice. And they've, they've picked up, they bought it, saved it, and are releasing it back into the wild. They've got way too much time on their hands. Just boil it, eat it, have a nice meal, move on. Turn its shell into an ashtray. That's what you do. In the 70s? <laughs> turn its shell into an ashtray? Are they, are they like animal rights people? Is no. that what they did? No. Okay. Just two people went, shall we set this, this crab free? Are they going yeah, shopping not? in the fish market in general? Yeah. It and wasn't like they, they went, let's it, go and... They let's saw go it going... And... 
<laughs> and, th and thought, I will buy that. What's Did it, it live? We don't know. It's dead, isn't it, Mike? No, we don't know. It's dead in the beans. See, it? boil them, eat them. I them, them, turn them into ice is very tasty, Mike. It is, you're right, but... Point of the story was that crab got set free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fed the crab. And if you're not completely dead inside and want to share a story with us on our social media, just search for at the Could TV. That brings us quite nicely over to our story of the week. Now, this is not a lovely, warm, fluffy story. You'll be glad to know. Lee. Yes. Yes. Darkness. This is about my old friend. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> this is about a man who has been convicted to serving a life sentence. Okay? Serious face, then. No. Serious face, yeah. Oh, right. Now, he is currently appealing to be set free. Okay. As he, he briefly died in 2015 and was resuscitated. So he's claiming that he served his life sentence as he died in prison. Mm, interesting, yeah. interesting. Judges in the US are saying, nah, because you're still alive, mate. Mm. But he's saying it was a life sentence. I died. I was clinically dead. Mm. I was brought back to life. I've served my sentence. Technically, mm. I agree. Morally, mm. not so much. I don't know. Um, but yeah, his, his name is Benjamin Scriber. What did he do? What did he do? He committed a crime. Yeah, no, but what crime? So he was convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison in 1996. Mm. Yeah. So he's saying that I died, so technically I was dead. He was brought back to life against his wishes, so he oh. had to do the resuscitate order on. Right, but what, right. so why did they resuscitate them if he said no? Because, <laughs> because at the time he couldn't say no. <laughs> But didn't nobody like look at his? Oh, he doesn't want to be resuscitated. Da, 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 da. No, they want zip, zip, zip. Oh, he's alive. Oh no. Mm. Technically, he's got a good case there. He's got a good case for 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 them bringing him back to life. Yeah. yeah he could sue the doctors. Go for yeah. that. Yeah. Be minted, but you're still in prison, mate. Yeah. I don't think that he should be released. No, and the judges are saying the same thing. Shall we just euthanize him? And that's the end of the buzz this week. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I like dead people in prison. Ooh! Stick around, because coming up next, we have a week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cod. This week, we are playing my favourite game, What's Another... Now, f*** off, I hate this one. F*** off the set. <laughs> Bit harsh. Game of the week. The rules are quite simple. Mike is going to give me three words that link up together, and I've got to guess what it is that they all share. Are you ready, Mike? Br. I am. I'm. So, I hate you doing this game, though. I hate it. Okay, first one. Just the tip. Bell end. Close. Close. Very close. Close Very to close. the bell end. Very close. Ooh. Okay. Another one? Yeah. Queen Victoria's husband. Prince Albert. Prince Albert, yes. Do, 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 do. Have you got Prince Albert? Next one. Yeah. Blue period. Monet. No, so close. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I can't have, a, can't have another one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Next one, then, next word. Cubism. What's the one that did like the weird man face? It? Ooh, ee, ooh, uh, Picas Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> did what? E e e e e faces. Picasso. Is it yes, right? It was Picasso. Well done. Awesome. Let's move on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying yourself now? No, I just want to get it done. Okay, fine. <laughs> Gushing. Gushing. Yeah. Did you was that like an impression of somebody? No, it's just the word gushing. Gushing. Just emphasize the word gushing. Waterfall. No. Up from the bottom. Oil. No. Oh, it's hot. A geezer. A geezer, yes. Well oh! Yes. So you're getting it now. Yeah. yeah. Wish I wasn't. Yeah, you won't be for long, will you? In fact, you've done right ones before. Okay. 
flatten it. Flatten it? Flatten it. Flatten it. <laughs> I don't know. Pastry. Rolling pin. Rolling pin's right, yes. Awesome. I'm going to be purposefully obtuse now. It's fine. I'm going to flip the table. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> It's bolted to the floor. You wouldn't be able to. Middle distance. The horizon. Don't look, you've got them written in front of you. The middle distance is not the horizon. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just okay. say whatever comes into my head. Da Vinci. Oh. The Sistine Chapel. Uh, in the Louvre. What's that statue with no arms? Venus de Milo. Not that one. The, the one that does have... <laughs> the one that does have arms but has his cock out. David. Yeah, is it David? I don't know. Michelangelo's David. Yeah. When the clue was Da Vinci. They're all the same. Quite different people. It's the Mona Lisa. What? Just that? What are any of those to do with it? You could have said, smile. So the reason why, the Mona, the, reason why the Mona Lisa's eyes follow you is because she's staring into the middle distance, so no matter where you're stood, she'll always be looking at you. Because you're not in the foreground, not in the background. That's why she can look at you. If you'd have said, lady, smile, louvre, would have got it. Okay. Just saying. Just a tip. Not a margarine cup. Not a margarine cup? Butter dish. No. <laughs> it's a f***ing flower. We've done this one before. Buttercup. Buttercup, yeah. Yeah. We still didn't get it right the first time. <laughs> Mike, we've done this one before, yeah, with the same clues. Yeah, you didn't get it right the first time then either. No. <laughs> My bum hurts. <laughs> what you get up to the privacy of your own home, it's nothing to do with anybody but you and your dog. Through the bottom of the back. <laughs> Helen of. Troy. Yes. <laughs> Big boat. The Titanic. Yes. On a roll now. Cheap theatre. Pantomime. No. <laughs> Cheap theatre. Next clue, please. During the daytime. Early bird special. No? Twice. Matinee. Matinee, yes. <laughs> the most half asked. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm trying to make them simple for you now. <laughs> I think you're being purposefully difficult. <laughs> mm, we know how that feels, don't <laughs> we? <laughs> no, you're just really bad at the other games. <laughs> Fancy bird. Peacock. Yes. Peacocks are just gay turkeys. They're a different animal. Like, sh like dolphins are gay sharks. Peacocks are gay turkeys. It's fact. Look it up. Next one. A dolphin is a mammal. A shark is a fish. Sharks, if they stop swimming, they die. Nature. Look it up. Next one. <laughs> what have you been drinking? <laughs> Come on, Mike! I'm, I need to get home! <laughs> Place in Wales. Aberystwyth. Yes. Oh. Scandinavian. Ikea. Horny men. Vikings. Yes. Large water-based thing. 
so many answers, so many questions. <laughs> so many thoughts. <laughs> Hovercraft. What was the clue? Arge water base thing. Might just be a hoax. The Bermuda Triangle. Scottish. A Loch Ness Bermuda Triangle. You're on crack. I'm not being serious now, am I? I, I can not tell. Not taking it seriously. I can tell. Not taking the game seriously. I can tell. Okay. Captain. Picard. I've broken you. You, you've ruined me. I've broken you because you went straight for a Star Trek <laughs> reference, and it's not. They don't have them. The captain, they don't have them. I don't know. Okay. On a butty. Fish fingers. Fish fingers. Yeah. What? What's? What's? They don't have them. Fish don't have fingers. Oh, right. <laughs> well, your captains don't have fingers. I think they do. I think you'll find they do. Otherwise, they can't pull the anchors down. Use the use the thing on the boat. Steering wheel. Can't use it. No fingers. Oh, got them. <laughs> it's been a long day, Mike, hasn't it? It's still going on, though. Let's get finished. Come on. Last one. Seven seconds. Okay. Long black thing. <laughs> a, a, a mambo. Mambo snake. No. Put your goodies on it. Put your goodies on it? Put your goodies on it. On a lot black on a long black thing. On a long black thing. Massive black dildo. You put a metal bar across it to stop it. I don't understand. Black. You put your goodies on it. Put your goodies on it. You put a metal bar across it to stop it. I don't know. Boop, boop. Time's up. Boop, don't boop. know. No. Boop, 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 boop. It's not helping. Conveyor belt. Oh, you see again. <sighs> Shopping. Put it on. <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't have got that. You'd be there going, scales? Shopping? No, I'm not shopping. No. Car boot? <sighs> I, think, I think that game's gone on long enough now. Forever. But don't worry, because after this quick break, it's that science that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show that we call that science that is. That science that is. So this week, despite my better judgment, I'm giving in to your request for fire. Fire! That's why it's against my better judgment. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing an endothermic reaction, which results in trapping oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules in a glucose suspension. Interesting. Is that farts? No, it's not farts, Lee. So, what we, what we need a couple of little things here, okay? You have a, a pot of, of earth brown earth. I do. Okay. And then you have some purple liquid. I do. Okay. Now the purple liquid is methylated spirit. Yummy. No, not yummy. Highly toxic. Yes, it is highly toxic. Do not drink the methylated spirit. Good. Don't have to go to a &E again. So what we want to do is we want to pour some of your methylated spirit onto your earth and let it soak in. Okay. Ooh. You want it to be quite wet. So keep pointing until it's quite sudden. Oh, it's sudden, Mike. Good, sudden. Okay. So we just need to let that rest for a little while. Oh, 
so that all the liquid can absorb into the earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pop my methylated spirit out of the way because I don't want an accident. Okay, now in your two glasses, you have two white powders. Mm. One is sugar. Um. And the other one is bicarbonate of soda. Oh, I do, do can tell. Yeah, you want to mix those two together. Okay. Does it matter which on top nope. of the other? No, nope, because you're going to mix them together so that they are fully mixed together. Mix. Are they well mixed? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, because what we're going to do now is take some of that lovely mixture, not a lot, just a little, mm. and pop it on top of your sodden earth. Ooh. Ooh. Are we making a... Into the middle, in a little pile. In the middle of it, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, once you've done that, quite quickly, you need to set it to flame. Ooh, this is the best bit. <gasps> Fire! Fire. Okay. Now what will happen is that the sugar will um, get very, very hot and turn to a liquid and the carbon... Uh, the, <laughs> I'm just concerned that it's going to start spitting at me. And then what will happen is that the um, bicarbonate of soda will expand and solidify and trap oxygen molecules in the sugar. Oh. Okay. That's a, it's quite a hefty flame. It's quite a hefty flame. You wanted fire, you've got fire. I have. Okay. Now, at any point, can you see little black bits appearing on your on your surface? Um, not yet. Not yet. Okay, so if we, we look at mine, I'm just going to just point with the metal spoon, there's a little bit of black appearing just here. Okay. Okay. And what will happen is as they start to expand, they'll start to grow. Ooh. Okay, so, huh? What do, what do you mean, what's that mean? What does that mean, Mike? <laughs> so, what, what's happening, it's going to grow, it's, as it's going to expand, as, they, as the oxygen molecules get trapped in the sugar. Okay, mine's going a bit purpley. It's going a bit purpley. Yeah, in the middle. In the middle, that, that's just the methylated spirit being caught up. Will it burn forever? It won't burn forever, because it's a, a reaction. It will, will burn out eventually. So far, not really got any little black specks. You've not got any black specks at the minute? No, possibly one. No, it's a bubble. It's a bubble? Yeah. That's what you want, you want a bubble. Oh, okay. Okay, because that bubble start going black. Yeah, there's this bubbling. It's bubbling? Yeah. Okay. I'm not getting too close, because it'll burn my sexy face off. <laughs> it's not going to set your hair on fire, is it? <laughs> Shade. <laughs> not like I'm exactly not bald. Can you see it on the camera bubbling away? <laughs> I'm not going to lift it up because it'll be very hot. It will be very hot, you're right, because we've set it to fire. Set it to fire. Yeah. I want to burn my fingertips. Not again. It's going all frothy, Mike. It's all frothy. Good, that's getting there. My, mine has stopped frothing, which is not a good sign. Well, I can see black bits on yours. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> going on anywhere? Going anywhere nice this year, sir? So, <laughs> what we'll do is, just because it does take a little while to react, yeah, we'll use the magic of telly to speed this up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not grown like You're it's supposed the spoon to. In the fire. Huh? You're putting the spoon in the fire. I, I'm a I'm a very heavily trained scientist. Okay. Um. So mine's not reacting as it should do. Yours isn't either. No. You wanted fire. It's not worked. What does that tell you, Lee? You're a shit scientist. Go back to Gryffindor. Gryffindor? Yeah, and learn again. My, mine's gone really green and bubbly. Why has it gone green? We've put nothing green know. in it. I don't know. It's the science. <laughs> <laughs> you fing react. 
You're showing me up. More than I normally show myself up. It's like a really sad children's party. It is. <laughs> just foamy. Just a little bit foamy. It's just fire and foamy. Yeah. It really hasn't worked. I'm getting quite hot in the studio. Shall we put them out, Mike? Should, go on, blow it out. Oh, blow it out. I was going to put the glass on the top. You can't put glass on top of flames. Why? That's shatter. Oh. It's about. Oh, no, it doesn't do that. It makes it bigger. You wanted flames, you got flames. Cough, you tried to burn my face off then. <laughs> what kind of scientist are you? <laughs> Maybe the evil scientist. Your face. <laughs> Ow. Put it out then. How? How are you going to put it out? You said blow it and then it went all up in a big thing. Like See? That. Yeah. Beat it out with a spoon. Okay, beat it out with a spoon then. It's a never-ending flame, Mike. <laughs> you've, created, you've created the Olympic torch. <laughs> the Olympic torch. <laughs> Not the Olympic torch, Sarah. <laughs> the Olympic torch, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what if I poured this powder on it? Yeah, of course. Why not? Just do it. Go we'll for it. We'll see what happens, Lee. Because, you know, the flame hasn't engulfed the other powder before, has it? It's not going to be able to get more. through this lot. Oh, I've killed it. I've killed it. Killed it. Die, you flames. No, it's still going, Mike. <laughs> I've got, yeah, I've got black bits. I'm going to move the lighter away from the flame. Oh, you've got movement as well. Ooh, do you think it's going to do it, Mike? It might do it. <laughs> you've got a pot of black burning tar. Yeah. And I've got what looks like warts. <laughs> and what about what you sat what you spent doing? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, it looks like my spoon's on fire. <laughs> well, kids. Remember I'm a trained scientist. Did I ever did I ever tell you my science thing was in philosophy? <laughs> Not in chemistry. But that science that is. That science that is. Hmm? Still flaming. Mm. You're still flaming, aren't you? <laughs> That's almost the end of the show this week. Remember to join us on social media at the Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and of course on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye. Put it out. <laughs> <laughs>